Hello citizens of YouTube and welcome, I am Simply Sketchy and this is Mass Gaming with a Loot Crate unboxing. Now this is the first one I have ever done on this channel and it's actually the second Loot Crate I've ever actually received and well I'm pretty excited because this one is actually bigger than the last one I got. So, um, we're just going to jump straight in. I'm super excited. Using my little Leatherman Juice KF4 there. Um, got that many years ago. So, let's see what's in the box. In the box. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. No way. Okay, so what have we got here? This t-shirt, Rick and Morty t-shirt. How are we liking this, guys? Oh, looks a bit, actually no, it doesn't look a bit small. That looks just my size. How cool is this? How cool is this? Sorry for looking over at the monitor there. How cool? Oh my God, yes. Yes, so much yes. So much yes. Um, I'm gonna have to, I'll fold that up another time. <laughs> Oh my god! And oh my lord, look at this. You know, let me check the monitor for the reflections. Oh my god, look. Oh, I'll do a close up of that. I'll cut that in. Oh my lord. That is a. Oh! I'm losing my mind. I am losing my mind. And a live long and prosper loop pin. I shall. I will do close ups of all of these, don't worry. I will cut them in. A little Mega Man doll. I have no idea what's in this one. It could be any of these um, little guys on the side. I'll just hold that up a bit more. Like I said, I will cut in close-ups. Oh, oh wow. I'm not sure if I want to open this. I, I can't even, there you go. This is a Star Trek Next Generation Loot Crate exclusive. And it feels like there are cards in here. I think it might even be a magnet. I'm not sure, like a big magnet. I'm not sure. Um, and then we have in here 4001 AD. It is a magazine of some description. I can't see the back because there's a, <laughs> there's a card on the back. Oh my. That The artwork looks supreme. It looks absolutely supreme. Um, and then we've got a little, um, little futuristic version of the... Uh, uh, oh God, getting the angles wrong. Uh, futuristic version of the newsletter thing that comes with Loot Crate. A loot crate magazine, even, and um, oh, we can make a landing platform. <gasps> I'll do that, and I think, yeah, I'll do that, and I'll put the Futurama figurine on top. Oh my god, I'm losing my mind! I'm losing my mind. This is so cool. <laughs> Guide Bender to his bottle. Oh my lord. Oh, the. I keep looking up at the monitor instead of the actual camera. I'm so sorry. But this is... Oh my god, this is so cool! Oh yeah! Oh, and a little colouring book! Ah! Oh, oh, uh, just plenty of groans right now. Oh my god, this is so cool. This is so cool. This is so cool. I keep looking up at that damn monitor. Oh. Okay, the Mega Crate looks insane, but you know, I cannot afford one of those. <laughs> oh. Oh, look at that. We love you is written on the back. We love you. We love you. Well, um,. I love you too, Loot Crate. <laughs> right, so I'm gonna have to be back with everything set up 
and close-ups. So I think now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do close-ups and cut them in for you and we will have a good time with all this. So here we have the live long and prosper Star Trek loop pin. I actually really like this. It's very well made. In fact, the uh, last loop pin I got, I also really liked. I think if I continue to get these things, I will have to get a cork board to plug all these things into. They are absolutely great. Isn't this just absolutely adorable? Little Mega Man there, with his little cannon on his on his hand. Oh. I'm gonna put him down in the uh, on the stage. On the in the middle of the hangar. Let's just uh, focus this up. Oh, How cute does he look sitting there? Oh Seal of Approval. So this actually appears to be a replica plaque um, for all the Star Trek captains and it's actually got a piece of uh, protective plastic over the top that's why it looks so scratched up but here let me just focus in on it for you guys let me get it real close for you Whoa. as you can see all the captain's names for oh, I'm drifting <laughs> for the um, for the USS Enterprise and I think I can oh, if I just, no unfortunately I can't get the light to hit oh there we go no, that's about the best I can do for you guys. But this is a really neat piece of uh, memorabilia, actually. Uh, a lot, of, a lot of you guys, a lot of you fans of or collectors, are probably going to really hate me for ripping out this uh, plastic packaging. Uh, to be honest, my opinion is, if you're going to get this stuff, it's to be played with, it's to be used, it's to be loved, and. I know my dad is really going to love this, especially on his uh, next generation uh, Star Trek schematic poster in the study. This is awesome. This is absolutely great. I was so sad when Futurama uh, finished when they said they weren't going to make it anymore and this is really doing it for me. Um, the Planet Express, exquisite little model. Um, I, oh. It is absolutely gorgeous. And even there, the detail on the tail fin is absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Ooh. Yeah, and even the uh, underside. It's got a little magnet under here, which I will show you in a second. I'm just going to show you this first, though, which is the base plate. Planet Express. Reliable interplanetary delivery, serving the Milky Way and beyond. How cool is that? You've got the little uh, macaroni signature on the bottom. And just in case you want any more information, here is the bottom of the base plate. Ooh, aim for the middle, aim for the middle. <laughs> there we go. And just to uh, seal the deal, as it were, just adjust the camera, use the camera. <gasps> We can put it down on here and go. Oh, no, that's a bad idea. That's a bad idea. Don't put it down first. I'm gonna plug that in and we can put it back in there. And then we can have our Planet Express in the hangar. How cool is this? I'm looking at the monitor again. How cool is this? I'm sweating. Not from excitement. I wish it was, but from the sheer fact that it is really hot in this room, and I can't even see if that's in focus for you guys. Boom, there you have it. Planet Express sitting in the hangar. I think it looks absolutely 
amazing, lovely bit of kit. It's definitely got a home on my desk. So in we go with uh, Mega Man there. And I think we're gonna whack in that live long and prosper pin. In fact, I think we might, can we prop it up? Can we? Ooh. We can just about prop that up. In fact, to make the scene a little bit nicer, there we go. And I think if we just, can we get that in the background? Oh, it's a bit blur, and I've lost it. And I brought, I found it. <laughs> there we go, it's a bit blurry, because the depth of field, I'm afraid, guys. Definitely, definitely rate this loot crate. It is very, very good. Um, and here we go, to round off the uh, the unboxing. Here is the front cover more closely with a little less glare from the uh, plastic packaging. I'm afraid my uh, video light is giving me a few issues. And this is the back. Unfortunately it's not as exciting as I thought it would be. I mean it's exciting for Loot Crate stuff but not towards the uh, contents of the magazine. Um, however, well, should I say comic book? Sorry, comic book, not magazine. The other thing was a magazine. However, the art style, careful for spoilers if you are interested in reading this, the art style is very, very clean, very nice. I'm liking this a lot. Um, pay attention to the pictures and not the words and there will be no spoilers. Absolutely brilliant. I look forward to reading this. Excellent. So that rounds it up for this uh, unboxing, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, please feel free to leave a like or a comment. Any feedback is very much appreciated as this is my first and Mass Gaming's first unboxing video. So thank you for your participation and I'll catch you next time.